Why do these witches consistently like to lie and make things up like this? But if they want to keep on lying, I will keep on debunking them. How are you guys all doing? Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure you hit this right here. That way my content can consistently be recommended to you. And also follow me on all the platforms you see above and below. Last but not least, double check and make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because people are being unsubscribed to the channel. So I know you guys are all thinking like, dude, you usually have videos up by now. Well, we have some interesting things happen at one of my... Uh, medical clinics okay so we just gonna leave it at that some very interesting things i wish i can talk about it but i can't hipaa all right anyway everything turned out to be fine though for some of the people that are watching right now who were involved in what happened there because i know you guys are watching you told me you would be watching so anyway folks uh here we go again and i don't know how people cannot see the desperation now we have the wicked witches again you know the view or we should call them viewless, joyless, sunnyless, whoopyless. And here they are trying to again back up Kamala Harris and making Trump out to be like he's just this horrible person. Oh, what he's going to do. Here they go pushing the fear mongering. If you weren't on my live last night when I showed you Kamala Harris interview with Charlemagne the God. And this dude asked her a specific question and she couldn't even answer it. And yet there's another caller called in and said, Trump is going to have all these camps like they did the Asian people back in 19. Blah, blah, blah. And if he get elected, he's going to have all these camps and brown people and black people are going to be putting these tramp camps and these, these trailers in. I don't know why they push so much fear mongering because it's not going to work. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to work. We have seen the wizard behind the curtain and we're not falling for it again. So anyway, Shout out to my guy, the right wing angel for the content he produces out there. It gives me firepower to talk about these loonies here, because one thing we're going to need to uh, address, ladies and gentlemen, is some folks don't like to get to the truth. And this is what I this is what a lot of you guys do. I show you the truth. In this manner. Of your eyes seeing it. And one thing people like to do that my daddy's senses pick up on, when I call daddy's senses, it's like when I pick up on bull crap, like my kids try to pull on me, is that if I'm showing you proof of something, some of you are going to do this. You're going to deflect and go, well, Trump, well, Trump did, well, Trump, no, we talking about what they did. So what are you talking about, Ty? I don't know y'all want to get to it. I'm going to show y'all. Listen to what they say right here. I'm going to play the video in its entirety first, and then I'm going to play it and I'm going to pause it for some of you that don't like pausing, Okay. Let's get ready to get to it so I can show you what I'm talking about, all right? Check this out. He's hiding. Yeah, let me say something. I was watching interviews with MAGA supporters. They do not believe that, that he will do what he says he's going to do. That is what we're up against. Mm -hmm. So if you say he is going to be dictator on day one, he wants to punish with the, with the Air, for, Air Forces, whatever we have, uh, yeah, the military. armed forces, he wants to punish people who disagree with him, mm -hmm. like people like us. Okay, and they say, oh, he's not going to do that. He's going to take us out of NATO. No, he's not going to do that. So it's very hard for uh, mm -hmm. us to talk to these people because they refuse to believe. And I guess they're hearing it on Fox or elsewhere. Into Sarah Look at her throwing shots now. Look at that. You, did y'all hear that? Okay, so let's get ready to talk about this. And I, number one thing I want to pay attention to here is this whole ordeal of them claiming that President Trump is going to be a dictator, going to be a dictator. And like I told you, my young mentees that are listening right now, I told you guys, you just cannot take a clip of somebody saying they're going to be a dictator. You got to see what they were talking about before, see what they were talking about after. And there's going to be some clarification in here. So again, let's go through this right here. Check it out. Yeah, let me say something. I was watching interviews with MAGA supporters. So you were watching an interview with MAGA supporters? Because I don't remember you being there. I watch stuff all the time. I do interviews all the time. I don't ever remember seeing you. Anyway, I mean, I'm, just throwing, I'm just throwing shots, y'all. Just throwing shots. They do not believe that, that he will do what he says he's going to do. That is so MAGA, we, we MAGA supporters do not believe that Trump is going to do what he say he's going to do. That's what we're up against. Mm -hmm. So if you say he is going to be dictator on day one, he wants to punish with the, with the Air, for, Air Forces, whatever we have. Uh, yeah, like I should think whatever we have. Like we, we whatever. So... Ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do, 
I think I might have this in the right spot. I want to direct you guys' attention to this video right here that you're getting ready to see. Check it out. You are promising America tonight you would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except Look, what? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border and I want to drill, that's drill, not a, that's, drill. That's not, oh, no. that's not retribution. I got I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, he keeps, <laughs> we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border. And we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dick. Did you hear what he said? He clearly said what he was meaning by being a dictator for one day. And what did that consist of? What did he say he was going to be a dictator to do in that one day? You see, this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about right here. This is what made, this is why we have a thousand different religions. Somebody took something in one word out of the Bible and then they just said it means this when they just not let it interpret itself. How about you let the author of it interpret it themselves? How about you let the one who said this out of his mouth interpret it himself? What did Trump say that he was going to do as a dictator on day one? Did, what, what did he say? What did he say? OK, so we you know what you know what? I'm going to show this in real time because I want people to see it. What did he say? Keeps. <laughs> that's real. That's not except for day one. Meaning, going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning, shouldn't against anybody. Except for day one. Yeah. Except Look, what? He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning, I meaning, I want to close the border and I want to drill. That's drill, not a, that's drill. That's not. Oh, no. That's not retribution. I got. I'm going to be. I mean what? Meaning. Get these illegals out of here and then get the drill and get the drill so we can be self-sufficient when it comes to energy. That ain't what he meant. He go put y'all in camps. He going to do this. He going to go out to the view. He going to. Yeah. Anyway, what do y'all think? Whatever it is, leave it in the comments below after this video. And don't forget, if you would like to see the next video that I would do in chronological order, it will be up here. Things that I do as a variety and mashup on this channel will be down here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I pray every last one of you guys in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.